Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the power from the power supply to the hard drive and the DVD drive. Now what you could do if you wanted to, you could just run the power cord from here and then on the inside of the case hit this and then hit the top and do it on one cord. But it's going to make things messy. And I'm going to try and make this look nice. I'm going to tuck a lot of them behind. And I have a lot of uh, outlets on this power supply that I'm not going to necessarily be needing uh, at this point in time. And I only have two uh, SATA devices I have to power up. So I am going to just have a dedicated cord to each and tuck the rest. So I'm just going to take um, two cords and uh, run them through the back of the case and then into the power supply since I have ports to spare on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand the case up and flip it around. and feed these cords through. So the first one we're going to do is for the top one. And so it's going to be high up here. So we'll just feed this in up through here and then feed the bottom right where the power supply is down here. I don't know if you can see. There we go. A little bit better shot. Power supply is down there. And then the hard drive is going to be a little lower, so we're going to put it in the lower section here and then feed this through to the power supply as well. All right, I'm going to turn it over and we'll just attach everything. Hopefully I don't lose any of them. Okay, for the, for the hard drive here, we're just going to plug the lower one in and just make sure you match up your connectors and plug it in. All right, it's kind of a snug fit. Make sure you push it in without doing any damage and uh, get that in there nice and tight. And <clears throat> you want to plug in the corresponding bottom end to one of your power connectors in your power supply down here, but we're gonna do that in a second. Now the top power supply, I'll just uh, unplug the SATA cord briefly so I can do this and see a little bit more of what I'm doing. And let's see, it goes in this way. And again, this is sort of a snug fit, so make sure that you have your connectors lined up and push it in nice and snug without breaking anything okay all right so they're both attached let me plug this back in here there we go so we got everything attached the only thing we're going to need to do is attach it to the power supply now now you can maybe make out here on the power supply, I have some blue connectors and I have some black connectors. The blue connectors are for the, uh, it's going to be for the graphics card, the black connectors are for fans and, and uh, the, uh, the drives. So I have two of these that I need to plug in and we're just going to go with the bottom two. Actually I have six of these six of these black and four of the blue. So we're just going to use the very bottom ones and uh, to plug them in. Keep everything nice and clean and out of the way. So I don't know if you can see this, but they just slip right in. Snap in. They have a little, uh, they have a little lever on them. Like a, like a phone cord or an ethernet cord has on it to snap it in and then you just press it to, to get it out. Um, like I said, I'm gonna use the bottom two here just so that it's most out of the way. And it is tight quarters in here. 
If I do another build, I will definitely get a different, bigger case. But there we go. Everything's plugged in on that. So to update, we have the uh, motherboard in, we have the power supply in, we have the, the CPU in, we have the RAM in, we have the top case fan in, we have the DVD drive connected and connected to the power supply, and we have the hard drive connected and connected to the power supply. And we also connected a SATA port from on the front of the case to the motherboard. The next step in this process is putting the uh, graphics card in. Now, the graphics card has uh, two power connectors on it. One's a six pin and one's an eight pin. So, in order to make things easier, I'm going to connect the cable to the graphics card and then I'm going to run the cable back and then I'm going to connect it to the, um, the power supply. Now these cords, in my case, this Corsair, one end is blue, one end is black. The blue are, are for PCI cards, PCI Express cards, and uh, the black end is going to go into the actual card itself, but the blue goes into the, the power supply. I've got my, my uh, static free foam here, and I am grounded. And here is the graphics card. There's the slot that fits in. On top of the card is, if you can make that out over here, the blue, the blue cap. That's if you were going to do a crossfire on the card. And the back end here are the power supply. We're going to, power, we're going to plug the power into. So to make things much easier, instead of trying to do this in the case, you're going to want to take one of these cords, the black end of it in my case, and you're going to want to plug it in to the card itself and then snap it in. Okay. That was the 8 pin. Then you take an identical cord, which in this case is a 6 slash 8 pin. So the, the end of the cable can split off to 6 or you can merge them together to 8. The same was with this one, I just had them together when I did it. So this one you want to attach in like this. There we go. And those are the power cords connected. The next thing I'm going to do is put this in the case, run these through the back of the case, and then plug them in. So then we'll have total uh, the, the graphics card totally installed in the machine. So I'm going to try and get this maneuvered in here a little bit and then put my cords through. Feed both of the ends through the back of the case and then, then I'm going to stick the remainder in this hard drive bay here. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. Now I got to maneuver this around. I got to line up my slots for the card. And this is going to be a little difficult here, but once it's in, everything should be all right. Okay. So basically you just want to line everything up and snap it in like I did before. There we go. Snapped in. Now the next thing we want to do is mount this down with the screws. So that everything's nice and snug. And you have your graphics card mounted. And it is very tight over here with the uh, hard drive. However, nothing's touching. So that's good. I just uh, changed my order of 
putting everything in on this case. Okay. Graphics card is mounted in. Now what we just have to do is run the cords through the back and up into the power supply. Again, case up, turn it. All right, and the blue ones, if you remember, are the cords in question. All right, I'm just gonna pull them as to not make it too tight, but to pull out all the slack. And already we got a rat's nest back here. But that is the great thing about this case management or this wire management. None of it will be seen. I'm going to get it all nice and tidy back here with twist ties when everything's, or zip ties, when everything's done. And you'll never know what mess lies behind here. Let me move this up a little bit. So what I did is I just pulled these through the case and the bottom area down here is where the power supply is. So I'm gonna squeeze those through as I did um, earlier. Probably put them more in the front this time. And space is getting tighter but thankfully we're getting close to being done. If you can see in here on the bottom, those blue outlets there in the, uh, or blue sockets in the power supply are where I wanna attach the blue cords from the, um, graphics card and again we're going to use the bottom the bottom two and again they snap in real nice got one in and get the second one in plugged in all right there we go. Plugged in. What we have here is the power supply installed and we have power um, hooked up to the uh, graphics card, the hard drive, and the DVD drive. We've got the DVD drive installed and connected to the motherboard. We have the hard drive installed and connected to the motherboard. We have, of course, the motherboard installed. We have the RAM installed in the motherboard. We have the CPU installed in the motherboard and the case fan up here. Okay, so pretty much on the build end of this, what we need to do is, of course, we have to match these cords up from the case itself, the power cord, the reset button, all that stuff, onto the motherboard. Uh, and we also have to install the liquid cooling, H70, Corsair H70, um, onto the CPU and the uh, case itself. And then of course attach the case fan here and the case fans here onto the motherboard itself. That pretty much, oh, and one more thing uh, we have to do is install the uh, another expansion in the back, which we're gonna do, um, I think it's a, a Firewire and, and USB. So that's pretty much all we have to do left on this build. And uh, we're going to start with the expansion here first. 